Nicaragua is not only a beautiful country, it's rich in cedar. And the cedar that we use is a derivative cedar we call Spanish cedar. And the reason we use Spanish cedar is because it's very important to us that the cedar's not very aromatic. Aromatic cedars really make cigars taste acrid and bad. So basically what we're looking for are trees that have a lot of grain, big grain. What we're looking for is really what we call furniture gray type cedar wood. So we go up and we cut up in the Atlantic coast and due to conservation efforts, since 2003, we've actually been planting three cedar trees for every tree we cut down, which is really not only help the environment, the forestation in Nicaragua, the northern coast. So Nicaragua is in very good shape with wood. After we take this timber, we cut it in corners, and basically it works is this wood miser machine here. And the wood miser machine actually takes the tree and actually debarks the tree and turns it. After the tree's debarked, it's going to be classified for the type of log or the type of box that we're going to make in the future for a Perdomo cigar. So what's important for us is the wood has a lot of great grain that runs east and west. So when we put that on the top, we're going to put that where the lines or the grains of the wood really go east and west. If we did them north and south, what would happen is the box would arc up and that's not what we want to have. And another important thing is after we grade the wood and cut it, we're going to let it aerate outside in the open environment for 24 hours because we know that the wood, once we get it, it's gonna have approximately 99.9% .9 moisture. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our moisture meters over here and we're gonna check the amount of humidity that the wood has. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drive this moisture meter inside and we're gonna check how much moisture and this particular log here, after it was cut, has 99.9% .9 humidity. It's completely saturated. And the reason it's saturated is because it's a freshly cut piece of wood. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that in quarters. And once we take it in quarters, we're going to let it aerate outside in the open air, which we'll show you in a little bit. And we're going to demonstrate to show you how the wood miser cuts the wood to the exact dimensions that we need. This particular piece of wood here is going to be used for the interior dimensions of the box for 10th anniversary and 20th anniversary. What the interior piece is, those little four pieces of thin wood that you see on the inside so we get that humidor effect and a nice tight seal. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this little this wood here, believe it or not, it weighs about 90 pounds because of the amount of water it has in it. We're going to turn it over and we're going to cut it in 5 sixteenths of thickness and then we're going to split that piece of wood in half and then we're gonna cut it in quarters. That's how we're gonna have our four pieces. And we're gonna show you how this wood miser works here.